Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, we are going to cover everything about placements after BSMS or what you can do after BSMS from ISA. Now, if you are in ISA or planning to join, I'm sure that this question has popped into your head ki what can I do after a BSMS from ISA? Is there any campus placement? Do students go abroad? Or what kind of jobs can you get? And is it all just about PhDs? Well, in today's video, I'm breaking Breaking it all down from research to industry jobs, higher studies abroad, exams like CSI and NAIT placements, and even alternate careers. So grab a notebook because this is your complete career guide after BSMS from ISER. So let's go. First, let's clarify what this degree even means in the job or research world. So BSMS is basically a dual degree, bachelor's and master's of science spread over five years. It's research intensive and with a compulsory master's thesis. You can major in biology, chemistry, physics, math, art, science or interdisciplinary areas. Now it's designed to prepare you for research but that that doesn't mean ki it locks you to this academia only. So let's start with the most common path, PhD. A huge chunk of ISA students go on to pursue a PhD either in India or abroad. In India, they apply to IASC, TIFR, NCBS, IITs, CCMB and many more. And for that, they need to clear CSI and NEET, JG Bills, which is the Joint Graduate Entrance Examination for Biology and Interdisciplinary Life Sciences, uh, or they may clear GATE, uh, and it's totally dependent on the institute. Now, for abroad, many get into the top universities like Harvard, MIT, Stanford, Cambridge and others and for that they need a good CGPA, research experience, statement of purpose and letter of recommendation and like sometimes GRE which is the graduate uh, record examination and TOEFL which is the test of English as a foreign language and maybe IELTS which is the international English language testing system and of course either research exposure and thesis work really strengthen their profile. Now here is a tip to start building your profile early like of internships or research projects or with summer schools now coming to the next part and this is where the most confusion lies. Is there any placement after ISA? So let's talk about the truth. ISAs don't have a centralized placement sale like engineering colleges. But of course, there are opportunities if one actively look. So types of jobs that students have landed are research assistant or project GRF in academic institutes, bioinformatic roles, data analyst or ML roles, biotech companies like Syngin, Dr. Eddy, Lupin, Thermo Fisher and others, uh, science policy and communication roles or like consultancy roles in firms like McKinsey, which is actually rare but possible. Now, one can also get a position like teaching position after qualifying NEET. But yes, they have to apply off-campus, network and build a good LinkedIn and CV. And you can also go to the industry. Some pathways are like pharma and biotech where like which includes R&D labs, quality control, regulatory affairs and there are companies like Biocon, GSK and others. Next comes bioinformatics or data science you can learn R, Python, statistics and apply roles for data analyst, research analyst, medical writer. There are companies like Tata 1MG, Novartis and others. Now, another thing is startups and research and development. So here you can apply to incubators like C-Camp, IIT Madras Research Park, join a product team or diagnostic startup. Or you can also go for consulting and analytics like that role exists in firms like JS Associates. But yes, you need to build a business knowledge plus aptitude so that is one thing now next comes ed tech and science communication content creators at byju's and academy scalar science journalism communication or writing rules now let's talk about higher studies abroad masters after bsms not everyone wants a phd there are many students who wants for an ames abroad so popular fields include biomedical sciences neuroscience computation and biology public health science communication and pharma research and development even there are students who are going for mba or data science there has been a change in the trend for the past few years where students are going for mba instead of phd now top countries include germany and in germany you'll get tuition free for masters uk usa netherlands switzerland uh, and singapore and many more are there where you can take the masters like do your ms or you can also go for phd here now even after all of this there are 
alternate career pathways also because not everyone goes into research even after BSMS. And some of those alternate pathways are science communication or writing like writing for journals, blogs, new portals. And one of the example is India Bioscience as we all know. Next comes the science illustration or animation like uh, combining biology and design and it's kind of demandable in abroad too. Next comes entrepreneurship like starting our biotech firm, tutoring startup or product. Many ISR graduates are now in IIT incubated ventures. And the last one is AD Tech and teaching. Post net, many become assistant professors, other join coaching centers or ED startups. Now, let's talk about what you should do from now. So, whatever you want to do, you need a strategy. First, start exploring internship early be it summer winter whatever do it i made a mistake and i don't want anyone to do it again so be it an internship or a workshop just do it second build your cv projects prepare presentation and volunteering third network network is very important your profile must look very professional linkedin conferences and online communities fourth Talk to seniors who are in your dream path and I can assure you that they'll help you as much as you need. Fifth, try different things. You're not stuck to only one route. Okay? Sixth, stay consistent. Don't panic even if you're confused in any of the years in these five years because everything takes time. Now, the beauty of either is the flexibility and the exposure you get. Yes, the system doesn't spoon feed your placement. But it gives you something more powerful, the ability to explore, experiment and evolve. Whether you want to be a scientist, a teacher, a data analyst, a writer or a policy maker, there is room for everything. So don't let fear stop you. Use your 5 years to discover your own path. And if this video helped you, please like, share and like share with your batchmates so that they also get to know about this. And drop a comment with your doubts if you have any and I'll reply to each one of you. Thank you for watching.